Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We got a breakdown of this Witcher teaser. I know everybody's having flashbacks to a whole bunch of other projects because he doesn't have the beard right now. I wonder if they're just going to have him grow it over time. So there's a couple Easter eggs in here. That's why I attached that Witcher 2 clip at the beginning with him taking the potion before he rides into battle to take another job. Potions of all kinds, very big in the Witcher lore. So if you're brand new to the channel, I think what I'll do is a giveaway for the book series. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a Witcher related comment on the video. The reason why the book series is important is because they're basing the series on the original novels, not on the video games. The video games are a sequel to the books, and I think based on the age of Siri during this, like they've announced who the main cast is, I think we have a pretty good idea where they're picking the story up. So we'll start with the cast, then I'll talk about the story, because obviously we have to process Henry Cavill. I think for the most part it'll be fine. Like Henry Cavill, great actor, he can pull it off, as long as they tweak that wig beard situation, because it does look a little bit like Legolas from Lord of the Rings right now. But if you remember, part of the other reason why I attached that clip to the beginning of this is because his beard isn't very prominent during that. Most of the people watching this probably haven't read the novels, and in the novels, he does not have the beard. So they're actually being more authentic to the original story. But it's a very common problem because you have this huge video game series, and everybody remembers The Witcher 3, and he had a beard during that. So they just assume he always has a beard. So when Henry Cavill walks in and starts slugging his potions down, they're like, why doesn't he have a beard? What's going on? This will be multiple seasons, so no worries. Maybe the beard will evolve like Rick Grimes' beard on The Walking Dead and it even evolved during the game series. But if you haven't seen, they've actually been posting more behind the scenes. This is actually the showrunner posting where they're filming right now. This looks like it's Care Moran, and this is kind of the area where he's been training in what Henry Cavill has affectionately called Witcher School from a production standpoint. Because while he can probably pull some of the stuff off, there's all kinds of crazy stunts. He has to learn to use both of his swords. He has to start working with the horses that they're going to be doubling for Roach. They've actually found all those yet, but obviously they're going to reveal their main character first. I don't think they've been filming for that long, but for the past couple of months, Henry Cavill has been in boot camp for the School of the Wolf. So I wouldn't be surprised if the scenes that they're filming here are really at Care Morin. Then once they've revealed the actual costumes and looks for the other main characters like Ciri, Yennefer, they'll probably reveal Care Morhen in some of the other big locations. But obviously that'll probably only happen once they start moving the production around. As of right now, they've cast, obviously, Henry Cavill's Geralt of Rivia. They've cast Roach, the horse, because probably the next most important character next to Yennefer, Ciri. But they've cast Yennefer, they've cast Ciri, Triss Marigold, Jaskier, Sabrina, and Fringilla. They have not announced who's playing Emperor Amir or Vilgeforce, because obviously he's going to wind up being the big bad of the series. Because it does seem like they're starting with the beginning of the novels, they could either start sometime during Sword of Destiny, which is sort of a prequel to the original main novels, which introduces you to everyone. It's the first introduction of Ciri in the story. Or they could start with Blood Elves, which was originally the first novel in the series before they wrote the prequels. It's like George R. R. Martin's Song of Ice and Fire series, where it starts with the first book, Game of Thrones, but then publishes a prequel book like, say, Fire and Blood, which is coming out later this month, which details events before what happened during the original main series. Most of you are probably familiar with the backstories of all the main characters, but here's a quick rundown if you haven't read the novels. With the exception of Ciri, who's a child, Geralt has had relationships with all the women that I just named, but Yennefer is his true love. She was a high-ranking member in the Brotherhood of Sorcerers, a royal advisor, very powerful sorceress, but very powerful politically. In the way that it's hard to trust a lot of magic users because they wield so much power, there is this sort of evil connotation to the Conclave of Mages. So the way that they sort of position her is as being politically opposed to some of the ideas that they have in trying to take advantage of Ciri. So obviously, Geralt, Yennefer, all the other main cast members want to help and protect Ciri because she's supposed to be part of this big prophecy that Vilgeforts has, which will probably be the main arc of the series however many seasons that it runs. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think Drowners or Striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Triss Marigold, another powerful sorceress who is a really great friend to Yennefer, as well as had a relationship with Geralt, but she's part of a slightly different organization within the greater body of mages within the kingdom. 
Frangilla is another sorceress that was part of the same organization as Triss Marigold. She also had a relationship with Geralt at one point. Most of you are probably familiar with Ciri. She's Emperor Amir's daughter. She's a princess, heir to the Empire of Nilfgaard, but also a witcher in training that Geralt takes under his wing. So he becomes more of a father figure to her than her true father, Emperor Amir. Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and Suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Jaskier's one of Geralt's longtime personal best friends. He's a womanizer, they use him for a lot of comedy, so I'm assuming they're going to use him in the same way to balance the group out during the main series, where, like, Henry Cavill's Geralt character tends to be a little more serious. He has a sense of humor, but he's not a character that spends a lot of time telling jokes, so usually you need other characters around to lighten the mood. Mausak is a druid who helped save Geralt's life when he was a little kid, so he's become a more prominent figure in his life, but also becomes a much bigger figure in present day. Sabrina is another sorceress that's a member of Yennefer's organization and serves as something of a foil for her character. More of a rival for Yennefer herself, but she is pretty fun. So this just kind of gives you an overview of who the initial main cast is going to be. Hopefully we'll find out real soon who's playing Emperor Mir, who's going to be playing Vilgefortz, but I'm not expecting them to announce that until they start actually getting ready to film those scenes with those characters. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about all this. Obviously there'll be more frequent Witcher videos as we get more information about the TV series. I will do episode videos of course. Because they just started filming I'm expecting the series to drop around this time next year. It usually takes about a year to turn series like this around and it is going to premiere during 2019. There was a brand new Game of Thrones preview that just dropped. I'll do a breakdown of that next. That should be up in the next couple of hours. While you wait for everything, click here for more brand new Game of Thrones and click here to learn about the new Avengers 4 spin-off TV series with Winter Soldier. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.